Hello everybody, this is Nerdy Geeky, and we are back today for the uh, second episode of Season 2 of No Man's Sky Let's Play. Uh, I'm still on the first moon at the moment, I've had a look around, there's a lot of these same sort of buildings around, and there's a lot of... Um, I found a few crashed ships as well, but none of them were any good, so I haven't kept them. Uh, so we're going to leave the moon today, uh, and I think because I've got a, uh, I've got like a ton of gold um, to try and get some money back for all the slots that I bought. So what I'm going to do is we're going to zoom off and we're going to go find the space station first because I, I really like the space stations. Um, I think it's, it's one of the more interesting things I think I, I look forward to seeing all the different space stations. So we're going to head off into space now and uh, and and look for that. Uh, the moon's been quite interesting. It's been quite. It's quite. Ooh, oh well, that's where am I? Oh, that's, that's jarring. That's, oh, sorry. That's a horrible sort of graphics edge there. That, Shouldn't really happen in this game. Uh, so, ah, here we go. We, we're getting into space now. So, uh, it should be around here somewhere. Oh, some cool ships there. Ah, there, there it is. There it is. So, uh, so that's where it's going to go. So, just going to slow down. Sorry, guys. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right, full engine. And, right, I'm going to fly there as fast as possible. Uh, I'm going to cut uh, until we're closer there. Okay, folks, we're nearly there. I wanted to start it up before we sort of see the general shape of the space station. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, that's really cool. I really like that. It's, uh, it's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, let's, uh, let's just slow down a bit uh, to appreciate the general general shape of it. General... Yeah, that's nice. The other one was kind of a sphere, and this one's like a diamond with the, the dome on top. I, re I actually really do quite like the dome shape. Um, I don't know why. I just kind of, kind of like that architecture. It kind of reminds me of that sort of... Indian or Russian kind of architecture, I guess. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. I've, uh, I've been writing a book, and uh, I use that kind of arch architecture in that book as well. So let's go on in here. Let's have a look. So uh, I'm kind of disappointed that it looks exactly the same on the inside. That's kind of annoying. Um, they could have, they could have varied a bit on the inside, like even you know for the gek or for what. But you know, I guess, I guess there might be some universal standards. Uh, in this area, so because it's the same, I assume that the one door behind me is locked, and uh, and this this is the door that, that we can actually get through. It's a circular door, I guess. You know. Oh, look at that! What a shock! Yeah. Uh, ooh. Yeah. So let's go in here. So I I really like the Gek areas because they're because they're smaller and everything. Um, they kind of like when you go to the Doctor, you know, all that sort of Star Trek Doctor kind of look to it. Oh, uh, let's sell the gold first. Yeah, let's sell me stuff. Let's have a look. Hope we get a good price for this. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Plus two point three percent. That's really nice. I'm really, really glad about that. So, I'll just sell everything else as well and get rid, get, get rid of it all. I don't know what that is. Uh, sell it anyway. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, anything else that needs selling? Yep, get rid of that. Nope. There we go. Uh, I always like to have a look at what it's selling as well. Uh, just in case I get some rare stuff or uh, like stuff I can't find, I can make that dynamic thing. I think now, I think I found that mm, vortex cube. Nope, nope. Okay, let's talk to this dude then. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see if I can choose the right option this time because the the guy in the first area really does not like me after the option I chose. Uh, that's what we got. We got Gek and Federation. Uh, Trader's been expecting me. It points to itself opens its arms wide and beams pleasantly. It then points to me and mimes concern for my safety. It then pecks my exosuit, indicating that I can make the journey more bearable. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to go with... I think request help with the sentinels. Oh, cool, a new multi-tool. Mm. Let's have a look. Uh, 18 slots. Uh, that's mine. I think mine's, I think mine's 19. 17, 19? No, it's 19. Mine's 19. Oh, that, that's a shame. Ah, well. They have a get standards increase though. Uh, oh, guys, I really want an Atlas Pass. I want to see what's what's in the rest of this area. Uh, it'd be really nice if the uh, if the space stations are actually quite big on the inside. I don't know if they are or not. Again, please no spoilers in the comments. Uh, I do like the circular doorways. They're they're quite cool. I quite like them. Uh, they kind of remind me of like Star Wars or uh, or the early Star Trek ships. Uh, when I say early, I mean like. In timeline early, you know, like the NX-01 kind of enterprise. Uh, oh, we got some ships around here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 
I really like looking at some of these ships that come in. Uh, I wouldn't mind upgrading mine now. It's starting to feel a bit cramped in my cargo hold. Oh, friend. It's a bit more friendly than the Vicor, uh, the, the Viking are, sorry. Ooh, 31 slots. Oh, look at that, those 7.2 million credits. Oh, that's nice. Look at all those slots. Oh, damn it. I'm, I'm going to have to start farming. Ah, I just, I'm going to check out this ship because... Oh, that's my ship. Sexy ship. Uh, I'm going to check out this ship because this is the one I really like. I think, so far, this is probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite designs. Look at that. I really like the... Uh, the, the, the outer things that, that, that are on the hull. I really like those. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I want to check out your starship. Let's have a look. 31 slots. That's really nice for 6.9 million. That's a shame. I'm really going to I'm gonna have to farm some gold and emerald. Gold didn't get me a huge amount because it had a whole cargo hold full of them. Um, right, so I've had a look at a few ships, a few around here. I can't afford any of them, so I'm going to have to farm some, for some more materials. I think it's time that we go check out that manufacturing facility that we saw. I think that's uh, that's the best place to look now, and that was uh, that's on the planet that we were on the moon of, if that makes any sense. So I think uh, I think it'd be best for us to go check that out, and it's a good starting point. We'll come back to this planet and this moon, and maybe check out what that third planet or maybe or something was, because they they seem to be like a weird extra planet in the uh, in the atmosphere. So we'll cut to when we get get to the manufacturing facility. Hmm, what do that is? Hostile subspace scan detected. That, that does not sound great. Oh, got some ships here. I hope it's not these big ships. <laughs> really, I've fought these big ships before and they, they are really, really powerful. Uh, let's have a look around. Let's have a look. Oh, hostiles approaching. Right, get on defensive. Oh, here we go, here we go. Space pirates. I've, I've never had this before. I've never had this before. This is very stressful. My, my ship is not designed to fight other ships. I've, I've had a fight with the sentinels before I kind of won I think I destroyed like two of them and then ran away <laughs> to the planet um, oh I gotta keep oh, I gotta keep my shield up uh, sorry guys I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be concentrating quite a bit through this I think uh, I can't even see them can't, where are they uh, oh, oh this is hard this is actually a lot harder than it looks um, oh, no, that's not hitting them at all is it ah there we go that's easier. Sort of partially, sort of you get it get close to that triangle, it, it aims it aims for you. Uh, damn shield range. The shield goes down far too quickly. Come on, come on. Beams overheating, beams overheating all the time. Oh, look at my shield. Shield's getting uh, way down there. Uh, it's really annoying that you have to do this like every few seconds. Because look, now I've lost them. I can't, I can't keep a locked aim on them. It's a shame they don't have like a, a quick button that you can, you can click that just use like whatever. Just use the first thing in the in the list. Because look at that. Look, I've, ah, I've lost him now. Uh, ooh, I do not want to shoot that big thing. I do not want to start a fight with that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yeah. Take it. Take it. Uh, oh crap. Let's have a look. I got two left. Oh no, I've got three left. I've got three. Damn, I didn't see that extra arrow. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Let's do some evasive maneuvers. Let's try and stop them from shooting me too much because they are they are killing my shield right now. Uh, it's interesting though. I've, I've not had this. I don't know if this happens every time you go to the next system or what. But yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, take it. Right, two left, two left, two left. Been a little bit more positive about this. Oh, he's nearly, he's nearly gone. Yep, nah, he's done. Right, got one, that one or two. Oh, I just want he's just really close. Right, we got one left. Yeah, you better run. Right, no, I'm not letting him. I'm not letting him go. The music's changed. That means like the hostiles are leaving. No, absolutely not. Come on, come on, come on. Shield down. Damn it, damn it, damn it. He's gonna get past me now. I have to find him again. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, screw me in the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mess with me and my extremely ill-equipped ship for battle. Yeah. Uh, what we got here? Yeah, st oh, we're standing with the Gek increased as well. Awesome. Yeah, well, let's, uh, I'm just going to... Transfer this crap into my starship.
going to make some room. Let's put that there. I like to just tidy up my stuff, basically. Let's put that down there. There. Let's put that there. Let's have a look. Uh, let's put that there. No, put that. I don't need that. I don't need this much titanium at all. Put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there, and put that there. Nice. Nice and tidy again. It's my OCD go mental, but now I've got a nice tidy. So, um, so yeah, that was fun. That was really interesting. I, I really enjoyed that. It was stressful. Stressful as hell. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's put use thamium because I can get loads of that really easily. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right, so we, we should be all back on track to, uh, to go to the manufacturing facility. So, uh, so let's head there. An hour. Yeah, it's not going to take that. So let's head there now, um, and I'll, I'll cut to when we get there. Right, we're just, we're just arriving at the manufacturing facility, so let's just set down. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, I see. I think it's, I think it's going to be one of those that we have to break into. Around it. Uh, it looks it looks a bit more barren than the actual moon did, didn't it? Um, I, I say moon, but it's just easy to say moon. So everyone knows what I'm talking about. But I do prefer the word satellite or natural satellite. So let's save it first. Now we're down on this uh, this new planet. Let's have a look around. Uh, what have we got here? We are uh, is that? Yep, nine. We got yeah nine nine things that we need to need to find. We found one of them. Uh, but we'll have, I'll have a look for that in my own time. So, uh, that thing is not going to like me. That sentinel's not going to like me in a minute. Uh, let's use my grenades. Oh, boom! Look at that! Oh, I love my grenades. I've, I've, update, I've upgraded my grenades, so they're a lot better than they used to be. Uh, oh, let's get the things on the walls first. I don't know why. I, just, I like to get the things on the walls first. Uh, have a look. No. Anything else? No. Okay, well, let's yeah, we'll do this. Uh, Ends churn, uh, masters, screen flickers, da -da -da -da, atlas finders. Oh, it's just just one thing. Ah, oh. take antimatter formula. Fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. I really needed this. Um, I I don't know whether because I I know with the warp drive you you have like a, enough when you get the warp drive for like one warp. So maybe one warp, and then when you come here, you get the signal, you get the antimatter uh, formula anyway. I don't know, but I. Been looking for that for ages. Now I can actually make my own antimatter instead of keep buying it all the time. Uh, I don't think there's anything else out here, is there? That's the book. Yeah, so I'm really happy with that. Yeah, really, really happy with that. So somebody turned around here. No? Yeah. Oh, animals. Let's have a look at the weird animals. <laughs> I was trying, trying not to land ahead like that. Oh, look, some some sort of weird moose ram thing we got going on there. Oh, there's loads over there. Let me try and get this thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get it. No, no apparently we're not working today. Get out of the way. Go on. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That was one of the ones we needed. Right, let's get one of these. Is one of them going to be all of them? Yeah, there we go, three. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I'm going to have a look around uh, and see where we can go next. And and yeah, I'll uh, I'll cut to when I've found a few places to have a look at. Hey folks. Uh, so while sort of hunting around on my own, like just just playing around, uh, I, I'm I'm actually back on the moon. Um, in, in this system, it's four planets, one moon, by the way. Um, I found a ship, and it's got an extra slot, and it looks really cool. And I think I'm going to take it. I've not taken a free ship yet before but look how awesome the ship looks this looks amazing um so yeah it's, it's really cool i've i've done so, oh um it's it's re <laughs> it closed down on me so i haven't done some of these things so uh let's have a look kind of get a second shot at this now because uh, i chose the altar before and it poisoned you so i'm gonna search the bodies i know that's a little cheat you know yes but hey the the program closed down on me on its own so i'm i'm taking this as a fair Oh, I already knew that. And I already knew the other one that I got as well. So, And I already know this. If it's the same one. Uh, yeah, probably. So. Oh, no, it wasn't the same one. It wasn't the same one, so it is random. It wasn't the same one. I, it was the shield and shard that I actually learned last time. So I'm going to take the ship. 
So, it's got some bits in it that I'm going to delete, like all these weapon things. They're great, but I want I want the slots, so I'm going to delete some of these. I'm going to put in some of the more powerful ones that I can make myself um, and stuff like that, um, because I can make I can make quite a lot of stuff now. So, um, I want to transfer all this stuff to that ship. There we go. So at the moment I'm kind of two slots down compared to this one. Um, but I'll, I'll make that up. Uh, and I'm going to... Oh, bye bye ship. Where are my hyperdrives about? I think the hyperdrive tends to be about the same. But I can make those dynamic resonators now. So I can make like a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to accept. And that is now my ship. Which I need to fix. So... I need carrot sheets. I need three of them, don't I? Starship. That's critically damaged. Oh, that's critically. Oh, I've repaired the wrong one first because I might delete that one. Okay, E. And I can't make carrot sheets now because I need iron, so I need to go and get some iron. Look at that. I need 50 iron per sheet, so I need 150 iron. That's 70. So yeah, I've never, like I said, this, uh, until like, like the first ship that I had to repair, I've never taken like a free ship that I found, but I really like the look, the look of that one, and I really, really... I really need the extra slots, so I think this is what I'm going to have to do. I think that's kind of one of the good parts of the game, is that you can get free ships, but you, you just have to work for them, and it makes getting all these resources worth it. So, let's make some carrot sheets. Am I saying that right? Yeah. See... Like, obviously I've got... Oh, they're the ones I need to charge up. I oh, delete the wrong ones again. Heridium. Should I should try add loads of Heridium. Unless I've just used it all up. I've used it all up. So we need to go find some Heridium. And at the moment we're kind... Yeah, I wonder if I could lift off if I just fix the thrusters, which are four carrot sheets, which I'm going to need more iron for. Yeah. Because if I can lift off and just drift across the ground, that's absolutely fine. See, my old ship's here. It's like, what do you do with that? I'll tell you what you do do with that. What I should have done is deconstruct all these things first. That would have been really useful. Um, note for self, next time just deconstruct everything. Uh, right, iron. I know that's carbon, but I'm probably going to need some of that eventually as well. Oh, well, that wasn't a lot of carbon, was it? stick up all over the place. Yeah, here we go. I wonder what happens if I use that. Do I still get the 70? Well, you know what? It's faster. Right, so we're going to go... Carrot sheet. Four of these. Starship. I need to get Heridium to create that. So we're going to fix that and fill it up. Right, so we might be able to lift off 
to find some caroid now. Bye, old ship. Bye. I always get like. Oh, critically damaged. Need to, pulse, need to fix the pulse engine. Heridium. Great. <laughs> Look at all that heridium. So I'm going to have to go on foot and find some heridium, I think. So I tell you what, I'm going to do that and then uh, and then we'll be back because. Uh, because, yeah, I, I definitely. Oh, there's some heridium there. So I'm going to go do some. I'm going to go gather some resources and we'll be back. We'll be fix the ship and then we'll lift off. Okay, folks, so I'm back in the ship. Um, I'm just going to tab in. So I fixed quite a few things. I fixed the hyperdrive and it took all of the hyperdrive charge off me. And I'd only use my hyperdrive once. So I'm kind of really annoyed about that because I had uh, I had a lot of... Uh, I used a lot of antimatter and stuff like that to fi completely fix up my hyperdrive last time. So I am kind of irritated by that. Um, I'm going to delete that. Great. Thank you. Uh, because I'm going to put it here, because if you put things next to each other, next to the corresponding things, uh, apparently they're supposed to be a little stronger. So that's Tau. I've not got enough for Theta, because it goes Sigma, Tau, and then Theta. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, I've not got enough for Theta, as you can see. It's the, the Zinc, really. I can get the Emerald. So I'm going to make Tau. Put that in there. Here, underneath uh, really I need it underneath the photon cannon so it's just going to have to go here for now um, I'm going to put in because I'm going to do a, a hyperdrive upgrade as well so I do that, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 if I fill up all these slots which will give me another like one or two slots for storing stuff uh, but I do need like upgraded weapons so I'm thinking about putting the because I ca I can't put anything next to that. So I'm thinking about putting the hyperdrive underneath there, uh, and it's the photon cannon that that you really need. So I, I might uh, might be worth putting the photon cannon stuff together, or the launch thruster there. That's what I'm thinking. You see, I know how to make a launch thruster. I'm sure. Uh, this this could be a real bad idea. But I recently hopped out of the ship anyway, so if I delete, yeah, you can't delete that. Okay, okay, well that that settles it. Um, I'm gonna put the stuff here for the photon cannon. So I only want stuff really for that. That's advanced cooling tau. Let's see what I can get if I can afford any theta stuff. No, I can't because I need car oh, carbon for. No, that's beam impact. Damage cannon damage theta. I need 50 zinc. Increased firing rate. I think that's definitely worth just finding a bit of zinc for. Um, maybe a cooling one as well. Cooling tau will be fine. Iridium chrysonite. Yep. I just take it. I don't have accelerate fire theta. Yes. Accelerated fire theta. Cannon damage theta. So it's damage theta and accelerated fire in theta. So where's the accelerated fire? A dimensional matrix. have a look I do not know how to make that I'll keep it in mind I'm not gonna put the weapons on it yet I think I think it's time to do a little bit more exploring uh, so let's sh lift off for the first time in the ship oh yes goodbye old ship bye and there's, there's a few things around here that I'm checking out I'm sort of just uh, just playing on my own at the moment just uh, checking out some more place on the moon before we go back up to the planet later. I know it's kind of weird putting this right in the middle, um, but I wanted to show you me changing the ship and why, you know, earlier in the video I was in one ship and then later in the video I was in another ship. And this this is the most sort of interesting part, I think, changing the ship. That looks real cool, doesn't it, though? That looks really cool. I like that. 
Okay, so uh, yep. See you. See you soon, guys. Anyway, because I'm gonna um, I'm gonna switch off for a while. All right, bye.